this cruise ship balanced on top of a cliff isn't photoshopped and how it got there is awesome please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring the bell for more as surreal and dreamlike as it seems this gigantic cruise ship is neither an artist's rendition nor the product of digital image manipulation it is in fact an actual real-life phenomenon high and dry atop a rocky cliff the ship overlooks the Sea of Japan from the South Korean town of Zhangdongjin. In fact, it's perfectly positioned to take in the spectacular sunrises and sunsets for which the town is famous. Moreover, the ship, which closely resembles a Royal Caribbean International Sovereign class liner, is a real beast of a vessel. Measuring 148 feet high and 541 feet long, it weighs a staggering 30,000 tons. Given its gargantuan proportions, then, one has to wonder how on earth did it get up there perhaps a massive tsunami carried it to the clifftop perch and deposited it there after all in 2011 the so-called Great East Japan earthquake triggered a tsunami wave up to 133 feet in places this actually did leave several ships in Japan in unusual inland locations including on top of buildings though such a scenario might seem vaguely possible the last tsunami to strike South Korea was in fact in 1983 and the maximum recorded height of the wave was 24 feet considerably lower than the height of the cliff off Zhangdongjin so is it possible instead that the ship was hauled there on purpose perhaps for some obscure creative statement it does look remarkably like a massive contemporary art installation after all is it an ironic social commentary perhaps on the direction of mass tourism if so the artist wins no points for originality in 1982 for instance German film director Werner Herzog hauled a steamship over an Amazonian mountain making cinema history in the process is it possible therefore that the ship was built on the cliff for some other reason perhaps a quick tour of the interior will reveal some more clues for one thing the ship appears to be authentic and shows no signs of abandonment or decay in fact it offers some 211 guest rooms all with ensuite bathrooms and with superb views of the ocean through the portholes you could easily imagine yourself at sea plus on the ship's 10th floor the glitzy sky lounge boasts wraparound windows with panoramic views of the coast below there's some 170 seats and a well-stocked cocktail bar too you can almost hear the tinkle of live jazz music from the grand piano right for more intimate gatherings the karaoke room features a high-tech sound system a video projector and disco lighting wondering what to sing in lieu of old-school sea shanties a reliable fallback might be Celine Dion's my heart will go on from the blockbuster Titanic furthermore like any good cruise ship the vessel offers its guests a range of tasty cuisine in fact the European restaurant serves fresh meat and fish and the Korean restaurant stocks traditional fare and there's also a bakery for late-night meals coffee or informal snacks yummy and after all that food if you should need to exercise there's a smart indoor gym equipped with treadmills and weight machines however if you fancy a spot of shopping the souvenir store stocks traditional Korean craft work fashion accessories and children's toys for couples a glamorous wedding hall has a capacity for a thousand guests elsewhere a host of well-appointed convention rooms all comfortably and tastefully furnished offer space for special meetings seminars parties and gatherings in fact despite being grounded on the top of a cliff everything about the ship suggests that it's a working cruise ship there is however one small strange incongruous detail day and night the ship's loudspeakers broadcast the sound of crashing waves so if you hadn't guessed it already the cruise ship owned by Sun Cruise Resort and Yacht is not really a ship at all it is in fact a hotel designed to look and feel like one built in 2002 the South Korean resort is thought to be the first ever such hotel and although not seaworthy it's a major tourist attraction and without any fuel costs or crew the resort is able to offer vacationers a cruise like experience at a reduced rate its family size standard rooms for example complete with ocean views currently rent for 220,000 South Korean won per night about $197 indeed one of the big advantages to a land-based cruise is a lack of rolling waves and seasickness 
also because the pool is located adjacent to the ship on the cliff it's much larger than those on standard cruise liners the water is actually salty though and although the ship never calls at any port guests are welcome to disembark and enjoy the hotel grounds fortunately this encompasses a landscape park with multiple attractions the so-called sunrise garden for example is ornamented with flowers and sculptures unsurprisingly the park's most dramatic attraction is undoubtedly the glass observatory jutting over the edge of a cliff with a glass bottom walkway it delivers stunning if somewhat dizzying views of the ocean below as a result the resort has been so successful that its owners are launching a second one in May of 2017 according to general manager Patrick Park the new hotel will have 103 luxury accommodations barbecue and whirlpool with awesome panoramic ocean view sauna facilities and infinity pool time to set sail for South Korea ship ahoy